What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master One and welcome to another summoning session. So this time I'm going to be summoning from my free to play account on this for Mortis and Goto banner. So I've actually saved up a lot of orbs here, almost 200 free to play orbs. And I tried to get Arvel really hard last time, spent over like 320 free to play orbs and was not able to get them. Uh, but this time Arvel is color sharing with Formortis and Goto, so I'm really hoping that I can get both of them. I'm gonna be sniping on the colorless stones and also the red stones, um, because I do want to get the merges for Regan. I do have her at plus six merge, so okay, my first nine is showing up. So finishing her merge project is definitely gonna be pretty nice, and this is a really good red color share. Um, rearmed Glyph is also gonna be pretty nice, and. In the colorless pool, I just do not have any of these units, obviously. And getting for Mortis is going to be amazing because he's such a good far safe tank. And, you know, having more far safe tanks is always helpful in Summoner Duels S. I'm pretty competitive when it comes to Summoner Duels. And I'm only like two wins away from uh, from reaching rank one in Summoner Duels. So I'm hoping that I can get uh, for Mortis, who can help me with that. Um, and even Goto. I think that would be pretty nice. The anti-AOE effect. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get him, and then if I do get him for Ether Raids, I will just use him as a near save unit. That is pretty much gonna be my plan. Um, and Legend Veronica is such a solid unit as well. So I'm a pretty, uh, you know, a pretty big fan of the red and the colorless pool this time around. I had never thought they would do like a double mythic, but I guess that's what they're trying now um, to sell these banners harder because we do not really have a lot of. Um, you know, extremely popular, I suppose, mythic candidates. So they have more chances of selling the banner if two of them show up together than, you know, just one of them, each on the banner, um, all alone. So I'm gonna get Nina as my first five star unit. Okay. So I actually foddered her very long time ago for, I think, uh, Speed Res Link when we didn't really have that available all that easily. So good to have her back. Definitely gonna be Hero Merit grinding her. Um, and from the redstone, um, lift would be really nice as well. Bantu is kind of overdue for the weapon refine, but they have not been doing the weapon refines for the demotes in like a good pace, which is really, really, you know, obnoxious because they still have some overdue units like Norn, Bantu, um, to get the weapon refine. And they should honestly, you know, have the schedule <laughs> in line. So that these demotes can get the refines in time. Okay, I'm gonna get Veronica here as the 5 star focus unit. The first 5 star focus. That is pretty good. Minus speed plus HP. That's uh, completely fine. And she does have decent fodder, but I think I'm probably just gonna merge her, honestly. Um, I hope that Formortis can also show up, have some, you know, mercy on my account and just show up. That would be pretty nice. And Arvel is also gonna be a uh, big target of mine. Um, I'm gonna be fine if I don't get... Oh, this is the perfect badge. I'm gonna be fine if I don't really get Goto. Um, as, uh, I don't really like to tank too much in Ether Raid's offense. So let us begin with the questions you guys have left in the comments. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question in a summoning video, you could leave them in the comments with the hashtag question. The hashtag is gonna be very important. So the first question is asking me, what ascended units do you want to see in Fey? Me personally, I want to see Levitane. Her sister got her ascended version after book two. So Levitane should be the queen of Muspel, um, pretty much after the book two story. So an ascended version of Levitane as a queen would be pretty cool, at least for me. Uh, this is definitely gonna be a pretty great question. So let me know in the comments, what kind of like ascended unit you really wanna see in Fae. Me personally, I would really like to see ascended Matilda. Matilda is such a good unit in Shadows of Valentia, and I don't think they did justice to her. So having ascended Ma uh, Matilda as like a gold knight would be really, really amazing. I would also really like ascended Mercedes, maybe with the preferred weapon. And uh, yeah, I did go, you know, almost five minutes without <laughs> saying Mercedes. But yeah, I would re definitely really like that. And ascended Minerva is also going to be pretty nice. They could even do ascended Zelgius in the Begneon armor. And I would really like that. So those are just some of the Ascended units I would really like to see. Um, and if they could do that. So you're yeah, going to be backing out of this. Veronica is basically the best summon that I've got so far. This is also a decent batch. Um, I'm going to get another Nina. Okay. I'm definitely an Arcanea then. So 
let's hope that uh, Goto can show up here. <laughs> if we are in Arcanea, never mind, we went back to Fodlin. Regan Mertus is definitely gonna be pretty nice. I'm just uh, four Regans away from plus sending her. So she is definitely gonna be the project which I'll try to complete in the future after I've completed Legendary Maid Violet um, as my plus 10 Legendary unit. The next question is asking me, I know you're doing a phase summoning session right now, but I'm curious about how your bond ring summons have gone in Engage. Did you get anything powerful? Did you get any of your favorites? Um, honestly, my bond ring summons in <laughs> Engage has gone really bad. I think the top three summons which I've gotten is, you know, Raphael, which, you know, is pretty good. I definitely like him. And then I got Minerva, who's definitely one of my favorites. So I did get one of my favorites as the... Uh, you know, S rank ring, and then the most, uh, you know, the best summon that I got from the bond rings is definitely Chrome because he actually has a skill in Rightful King. Um, <laughs> so that is pretty much it. And I'm gonna get Veronica here again. Veronica showing up many times. This is also plus HP IV. Um, all right, <laughs> let's hope that she can let Regan get summoned and she's not uh, <laughs> just holding up the summoning gates and getting summoned again and again and T-posing poor Regan. Um, so the redstones have definitely shown mercy to me as I have been able to get uh, Veronica and getting Roy and Lelina in the same patch. Okay, that's quite a luck. Roy got a pretty nice resplendent version for his Brave Alt. I definitely really like that. I hope that Brave Lin can also get uh, one because I'm definitely going to be enjoying that quite a lot. And then, when we finish Brave Lin, I think Brave Hector is going to be up on the menu for a resplendent outfit. Um, Alright, so I think I might just aim for... Actually, I'm just going to be aiming for... Okay, I'm going to get Rearmed Lift. The red stones are definitely showing some luck here. Um, Rearmed Lift, my first Rearmed unit on this account. I have not got any of them so far. Minus attack. Okay, let's go. Minus Attack Master coming back here uh, with the power of the Arcane Sword. And now I hope that in 70 summons I can get Goto or for Mortis or Arvel. For Mortis being the primary, primary uh, target here. I'm getting Norn here. Yeah, she is also due for her Weapon Refine. Um, but the Refine schedule is kind of all over the place. Like, uh... Edelgard and Dimitri are also due for the weapon refine. Claude ended up getting, you know, one before them. So far, the red stones have definitely done a pretty good job. Um, I think... Okay, this is a really nice patch with three colorless stones. Um, next month, I think that one of the units from the green or blue color that they have said to be rerun on a legendary banner is probably going to be on a hero fest. Um, I'm guessing like Thor, maybe? <laughs> that would be really nice for me, as I could also try and get merges for her. I'm gonna get Leon. Okay. If I just get one dragon, I think that is gonna be fine. Uh, but so far, Veronica is just showing up again and again. <laughs> um, Chroma is definitely pretty nice for Aether. The next question is asking me, after hearing how Middle Ground Fire Emblem Engage is getting, uh, I wonder if you honestly like the game yourself. Not sure what you mean about middle ground. I think, uh, do you mean like middling reviews or something? Because honestly, reviews are... <laughs> I don't trust the reviews at this point. Because the game is so fun, mechanically. So I have a question. Based on how far you are uh, in Engage, which characters do you want to see in Heroes? While the obvious of Mei Lelir, the remaining Royals and Vale are guaranteed to show up, I'm concerned that Vale could be our Mythic this month, unless it's someone like... Elm or something. Don't worry, Vale definitely didn't show up. I really want Clan and Fram as soon as possible. Thanks so much for the great content. So actually, I really, really enjoyed Engage. Um, I think I might make a review video on it um, because I have not really done that before. So I think that would be pretty exciting. So I would really like uh, to make that kind of review. And honestly, I really enjoyed Fire Emblem Engage. I played through like uh, almost 60 hours um, in Engage, and I have completed the game, only some power logs are left, and, um, it's not that I, like, I just went from one chapter to chapter, I actually spent quite a bit of time in Somnial as well. So, the character which I really want to see is probably Yonaka, 
Um, I really like her personality. She's very funny. So I would really like to see her. Um, and I would also really like to have... Um, okay. Uh, this is tough. No colorless stone. Um, I hope that I can get Regan. Nope. For Mortis, definitely not <laughs> showing any mercy. Uh, so yeah, I would really like Yunaka. And I would also really, really like um, Mavier, who I'm pretty sure is going to be showing up at some point. Um, so these are the two units which I would want. I think Vander is also someone I really want, but he is probably going to be showing up um, eventually. All right, Regan, can you please show up? Or is it only Veronica T-posing? Never mind, it's uh, going to be Hinata as the final summon on the free-to-play account. So unfortunately, was not able to get for Mortis, Goto, or even Arvel, but this banner is going to be lasting for 13 days, so I can definitely collect the orbs for that. Um, and I did get Veronica and Rearmed Lif, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'm hoping that I can just get them eventually, because I really want to get for Mortis. Um, as someone who is pretty competitive in Ether Raids. And how badass is Artis? Now let's move on to the main account, actually. Um, so the main account, I'm gonna be sparking because it does have Fate Pass, but on the free-to-play account, obviously I cannot really spark. So the priorities are pretty much the same. Uh, Ascended Hilda would have been nice, but, uh, yeah, there are definitely gonna be better banners for Ascended Hilda to show up, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be summoning on the red stones here. Wouldn't really mind getting Veronica really so i'm hoping that i can get one of the two units in goto or um for mortis so that i can spark the other one if i don't really get them but not sure if they're going to be showing up or not um because so far it has definitely been not too good um i can actually try and get maybe monica i don't really get her on this account um originally so i suppose i'm also going to be summoning on the blue stones then just hoping to get her. Okay, Dimitri showing up. <laughs> no Monica's. <laughs> uh, he is plus speed minus defense. That's definitely the best IV I've got actually for him. Um, I think the one I've got is kind of like mm, plus defense. I think this is a pretty good batch. So I could try to get Monica. I could also try to get uh, the two Mythics, the new ones. I do have Arvel on this account. Uh, but not really, obviously, for Martis or Goto, which are the new ones. The next question is asking me, what type of new seasonal banner would you like to see? Personally, I hope we get a redeemed banner where, you know, villains are summoned from the realms where they are kind and brave heroes. That would be definitely something. And I wish, um, and I really wish Fate did stuff like that a lot often. Because they could do anything in this game. It's not like the boundaries are strict and you can only do you know, certain things. They could just, you know, have an alternate timeline and make the characters appear from there. And it already happens um, in Fae all the time. Like, we're able to recruit the villains. Okay, got plus speed Fela, which I was looking for, but unfortunately she's minus speed, um, minus resistance. That's fine, at least she's plus speed. Um, so I would really like to see some kind of real life banner uh, where everyone is in, like, the student clothes or something. Um... <laughs> I think that would be pretty funny. I think there's uh, this one really popular artwork of Lucina and school clothing. Um, uh, I think which is, I don't think it's official, but I've seen that art quite a lot ever since the launch of Awakening. So I got missed here. Um, so I would really like some kind of casual outfit banner with real life clothing. I think that would be pretty nice. And Engage definitely has a lot of real life clothing um, as some of the, you know, dresses that he can have and it also has many of the <laughs> uh, glasses and accessories of that nature so okay, I'm gonna summon on the green stone actually maybe I'll get ascended Hilda <laughs> but I really doubt that so I would really like some kind of banner that is uh, kind of <laughs> inspired by the real life outfits so seeing Fire Emblem heroes who are supposed to be in a completely different time in like medieval times show up in the real life clothing is definitely going to be pretty nice. <laughs> a lot of people draw them as such in the fan arts and stuff like that. Um, so I think I would really like that. And Monica actually showing up here. Let's go. So uh, now I finally have Monica on my main account here. Uh, minus speed. Okay, you. why are you minus speed? <laughs> you need that. So 
she showed up, which is pretty nice. And I'm gonna be summoning on the red tunnel, hoping for maybe rearmed lift. That would be pretty nice. I also wouldn't mind getting another Veronica. So honestly, when it comes to the seasonal banners, there are just so many things and so, like so many things that they can do. There's a, the possibilities are just endless and honestly, um, they could take inspiration from so many things and just make the seasonal banners out of them. So got Monica. I think I'm not going to be summoning on the blue stones anymore. I'm just going to be summoning here on the colorless stone here. Um, and then I'm going to be dipping. Need more colorless stones per batch. Yeah, definitely something like this. So at least it's two uh, colorless stones. Nana showing up. And... For Mortis, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Even as like an auto battle unit. For like forging bonds, for chain challenges. He's going to be just eating up <laughs> opponents for breakfast. He's like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, honestly, with his art. His full art doesn't even fit in like the like Fey artwork. If you want to see the full art, you pretty much have to go to uh, Fey's Twitter where they post that. <laughs> it just happens with so many units. Their art kind of gets cut because they're so huge. So huge. Okay, this is definitely not the most ideal batch. No colorless stone so far. And for Mortis and Goto, just do not want to seem to show up at all. For any of my counts. Still, I'm 15 summons um, away from the spark. So I think until then, I'm just going to be sniping the colorless stones here. Uh, hoping that I can get one of them. And I would definitely like to do a couple of tests with them. So having them is going to be pretty nice. Free to play account didn't really have the luck. Um, but those Veronicas which I summoned, I am definitely going to be enjoying that. And also rearmed lift. Uh, still really didn't decide who I want to give my arcane loot near sword to on the free to play count. Um, I use Sylvia quite a lot. So maybe her. And she can still retain the dance skill. And also summon on the redstone. It's gonna be a bit hard to spark for one of them if I don't get the other one in the summons. Alright. And now, uh, okay, no colorless stone yet again. The next question is asking me a couple of questions, actually. Hello, PM1. Been a long time watcher since phase launch. Um, I have four questions for you, if that's okay. What do you hope to see in phase anniversary in the upcoming month? Um, so honestly, I really want to see uh, them try to give some extra skills to the demoted units. Like, Varian having something other than his... Uh, you know, Defiant Resistance is going to be better. Maybe he could have Attack Resistance form. And instead of having Sealed Speed, he could have some other skills. So just having extra skills for units is going to be really good because the skill trickle down has been extremely slow in Fae. With, we like still do not have a demote with like a solo skill, for example. Um, like Attack Speed Solo, for example, which is going to be a pretty nice, um, you know, budget skill. As I get Pilot there, she's definitely waiting for her refine too. So I would definitely hope for that. I hope they really do it. And one thing which they are probably going to be doing is that they're going to be separating the remix pools into two. So for example, if in February uh, we get, um, you know, Thrasir and Peony with their remix, I think what they're probably going to be doing is that they're going to be having two remix banners so that it doesn't really get cluttered. So I think that is going to be a lot more realistic and something that they would probably do because they have like four reruns announced for like February um, in the red color and then they have like four uh, reruns announced for the blue color in March. So I think they're going to be doing that. Just two remix banners differently, um, which is going to be definitely really good. Because even the remix banners now are kind of bloated and more options is always going to be a pretty nice thing. And it also means that the remix units will have a chance of color sharing with hopefully someone good. Um, so that is pretty much my hope for the Fae Anniversary. The next question is that who are you predicting for the next batch of Fallen Heroes? My predictions are Fallen Fafnir as an armored uh, dragon uh, like he was in Book 5. And Fallen Garen with his distant counter axe. Um, Bulwark, I believe. 
Maybe Fallen Chess. Um, okay, so I think that they could maybe do Fallen Riss, uh, which is going to be incredibly funny from the Cypher. Uh, so I would definitely like that if they could do it. Um, and I would also really, really like if they do uh, a Fallen Marth <laughs> from Engage. I mean, those are the easiest ones to do, honestly. It's not even all that hard, but I think I'm kind of predicting Fallen Marth. Uh, the engaged characters could definitely show up as the fallen heroes um, Pretty much because of engage and I also want to see maybe grail fallen grail I think that would be pretty nice So those are my expectations, uh, but not sure if that's gonna be happening or not I think Fafner definitely has a pretty good chance of being an armor dragon um, and he could maybe take a page out of for Mortis book and uh, just have Fafner show up like this and then transform into a dragon so now I can spark and I'm definitely going to be sparking for Mortis here for sure because for Mortis does not seem to show up on any of the account. Look at the silhouette. It's so huge. <laughs> um, you can see this kind of silhouette a mile away. All right. Got for Mortis as a beast follow up as far save and nightmare truly a nightmare. This artist is so top tier, honestly. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Like, he has different art for his attack and special animation. And then his horn kind of gets broken off here on, in, like, the damage art. So, absolutely amazing and top tier art. And now, with the remaining orbs, I try and get Goto, maybe. So, um, if he can show up, that would be nice. I it would be something if uh, Formortis just shows up right after I sparked him. I think I would definitely not like that. I would definitely want Goto now. So this is going to be the final batch of the summons. And I'm really hoping that I can get Goto here. Eight orbs remaining. Let's see if he can be the Clut summon or not. Nope, he's not going to be. <laughs> so that was the colorless summon. Uh, moving on to the other parts of the question, if they were to make an actual Emblem Ring um, from Fire Emblem Engage and they gave all of them in a batch as a minor Nintendo reward, which one would you wear? I would like Roy's ring because he's my favorite character from Fire Emblem and Smash. Honestly, I would really like uh, Byleth's ring or even um, even like Ike's ring because of how, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like such a big thick ring. So I would definitely like Ike's Ring. Um, and then the final question is that I don't know if you ever played or heard about this game Dragalia Lost. A lot of people, me including, uh, you know, were really upset when we found out that it is going to be getting shut down. What do you think about the game personally and how do you feel about it getting officially shut down? Um, so honestly, I really feel sad and I think Nintendo kind of mismanaged things and kind of dropped the ball, honestly. It's probably their uh, mismanagement that kind of led to it because they didn't really release uh, Dragalia lost in many regions of the world. So again, you're just limiting your reach, which is not really all that good um, So yeah, that is gonna be my summons. I uh, was able to spark for Mortis Definitely was uh, kind of lucky when it came to the red color on the free-to-play account I uh, hope I can get the for Mortis and go to with the upcoming orbs eventually before this banner goes away so let me know in the comments how your summons went. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as the amount of Gotos I summoned in this session. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.